what are your thoughts on Cornell 77? I mean, is it still the one? Is it, and, and if it is, is there one thing you can point to? I mean, there, you know, Phil's killing. Oh my God, the drums sound great. Betty did such an amazing job recording. But it can't just be the, it, is there one thing that just makes it magic? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, in, in a way, things accrue their own meaning, whether yeah. we want to have them mean that or not. You know, it becomes almost like this Rosetta Stone of like, uh, or a way to discuss this band and debating whether or not, you know, this show is worthy of that is part of that experience of being a deadhead and debating these totally. things. So ironically, you know, people could argue against it. And at the same time, they're sort of reinforcing this idea that it's a worthy show to have this discussion around. And, you know, it's an exceptional show. I love the the next night in Buffalo, the, yeah. the beginning, especially. Oh, the, helps with Frank right here. Yeah, and I interviewed somebody, and it says it in the book, who said, oh, you know, Buffalo is like the third set of Cornell. Like the first set of Buffalo is essentially the third set of Cornell, which I thought was an interesting. It's a good know. comment, and it's only 24 hours later. I mean, maybe they hadn't gone to sleep yet. <laughs> <laughs>